normally be putting up the slack line. And first thing you do is you need to put up the tree protector about Woo. knee high. Okay. See, go around here, about knee high, the people that are going to be on it. Or a little bit higher if you want a little adventure. And I'll put the other one on the other tree in just a moment. Cool. Okay, I might put up this thing that wraps around the tree. I'm going to throw it around and you feed this through and I think I... There it is a second. I don't know if it... Yeah, it's upside down. Here, I'd like to have the name right side up. Oh. And then you feed this through and I'll show you the this part, what you have to do is, um, before it gets tightened, you want this part to be laid flat like that. So you kind of have to get it so it lays flat, then you kind of tighten it by hand. Okay, and you can pause it. Okay, so now I put the other end of this long 57 foot slack line. Um, we're only going 20 foot, so there's a lot of slack in the slack line. Put this around. And then, oh, I didn't think ahead, we find the other end of this. Put this through. I'll strain it on a little bit. And try to get, same thing as on the other side, try to get it so, so it lays flat. of slack in here. Let's see, and this is the part and we'll zoom in on. Make sure you keep the word up and there's no twist in there. So you can get in here, Emily. You don't go. And you feed it through. Feed it through here. And then you pull it down and you get all the slack. So I have this on here. This is the lock position. Okay, back up a little bit. Um, so then you hold it. Give this lever right here. You pull it down. And that releases it. And this is the where you tighten it. And all the way up here is where it's loose. <coughs> I'll, I'll create a how to take it down video. But I want it in the tightening part. Right in the middle. I go really pull as hard as I can and then I start cranking it. And they say to only tighten it as much as you can do it with one hand. They said not to do it with two hands, but you want to it's more fun if you get it really tight. Once you get it where you like it, you pull that lever down and then you put it in the lock position. Okay, this is the little protector that goes over top of it, the snaps in. I don't know if you really need it, but it doesn't hurt. I typically put the slack part way back all the way all right next thing that we need is to do the same thing with the, the training line the same exact thing with the training line 
I don't think I'll I'll show you how to put this up, but it's the same method. There we go. This is the training line. I don't think this is too critical. Um, you want it so when you're on there, you're reaching above your head to hang on to it. To kind of judge it by who's going to be using it. That's really low, Dad. Oh, it's really low? Yeah, it's low. like... Yeah, that is low. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of uh, your kid. Oh, I might put it up higher. Like I said, I don't think this is as critical as the bottom one. Okay, I got that height. I'll get to the other part on the other side. Are you recording? Yep. Oh, um, do the same thing. You can see a close up going like that. Or wait, I think I think you go through the bottom or top. I don't know if it matters. Then you get all the slack, all 57 feet. Oh, usually I put this on the other side. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Too. Yeah, I don't think it matters. I usually put this part on the other side. But yeah, like Emily said, I don't think it matters. So now I have it tight with this at the same concept. It's in the lock position now. You push the lever in, you get it into the tightening position, and then you need to keep it straight so it doesn't twist up there. And same thing, they say only do it as tight as you can do it with one hand, but you know, really try to get it tight. I think it makes it more fun if you can get it tight. Like I said, if you pull that thing down, and then it's in the lock position. This is the tightening position. Then all the way to the, this way I don't want to do it, is the unlock position or loosen it. Sometimes it's tough when it's in the, trying to undo it. This part, the extra slack, but this one, I've uh, I've wrapped around the, the tree before in the past. Somehow to try to keep it out of the way. Ah, look at me. Being eaten by the slack one. Alright, and then um, I will hold the, oh, here I'll show, show you one other thing. Especially if you put it too high. Um, this goes across the top and this is the training. And you can hold it like that and, and I don't oh well, one of the rules is it says in the instruction book, use common sense when using this. You can bounce a little bit on it, but I don't recommend you like doing flips on it or anything. Here, I'll hold the camera while Emily demonstrates. And that is our slack line. It'll be in the garage. Wow! It'll be in the garage for you to use. Hope you enjoy it. Maybe I'll make another video on how to take it down. But it's not the end of the world if you leave it up. Um, while we're gone, but I'd prefer if you put it away. So, okay, bye for now.